In this video, we are going to see how to use toString or what is toString. For this, as you can see, I have created an employee class. In this, I am going to create only two fields that is, that will be an ID, ID and private string name. Let's create the getter and setters. Right click, generate getters and setters, click it select all and then generate you just then let me just format sorry format control shift f for format and it is formatted let's close this we don't need this mm -hmm. now a second this is a setter and getter now let's create a main method main sorry Right, just main control space enter here I'm going to create object of my employee class employee e is equals to new employee this will be an object e is having the object open close bracket semicolon now let's see what is to string if you want to represent any string as an object then we are going to use this to string method the toString method returns a string representation of the object. Let's see. I'm just going to print the reference of my class which is having the object. This is my object and E is having having the object. E is reference. Let, let's just print E and see what comes. Run as run Java application. As you can see, this is string representation class name and hash code in hexadecimal format. Even if we set the data like set id 12 and e dot set name, Surya, let's save and then again let's run the run our code to see it's it's again returning the to string even if we are not calling as object is there in e we don't have to call the to string method. Now let's run and see hash code. Okay, the second step. If you want to print any object, Java company entirely evokes the two string method. You don't have to do that. So we are now going to override the two string method to get a desired output or the value of that object. So let's override public string. It's an inbuilt method. I'm just going to override it. ToString method is provided by the object class. That is a root class. So public string ToString return. I am going to return the ID and the name as these are the only fields which I am using. Now let's save our employee class. And then let's run. Okay. As you can see, data is written. I'm not evoking the method. I am just going to write a notation over it. Again run. That's it. Here's how we use toString method without calling. Thank you.